subscribers and appreciate you watching today caleb and i are headed over to turbyville to winch out a john deere cotton picker baler that uh got stuck last night and the farmer couldn't get it out caleb's behind me in the v100 peterbilt and i'm in the work truck i got a bunch of extra cables and uh, landing mats shovels and all and hopefully this machine's not framed out where uh, it'll be able to help us a little bit. We'll get on scene here in just a minute and we'll be right back with you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Here, it don't look that bad, but okay, viewers. Here's our cotton picker. As you can see, we're rigged up. We got a 5.8 V-bridle hooked to the back of the machine. Uh, we've dug out the tires. Y'all know the thing with these uh, cock pickers, they easy to pull the heads off. So we got it all dug out around the tires. And uh, we're fixing the hook. Uh, their tractor to the front of the wrecker to help anchor it. We got our big cables in line here. We got a what we have is a is really a four part line this is what's pulling on the machine these four lines right here that's lines to the load i did leave this snatch block in line just because hello all right you just want to hold on you maybe we're hooking up the tractor now okay if you don't mind hearing me breathe hard, that'll be fine. All right. What's the hourly wait for my record during, during business hours, Monday through Friday? According to what the job is. Get me in a minute on it. Yes, sir. Let's hope we get this thing out. I just wanted to give you more information. I ain't expecting to cross right now. You don't want to pay weekend hours. Yeah, you just lay them right there. Pull forward. No, he's just getting tight. All right. I mean, hauling yearly. Okay. I'm get my door shut and then I'm gonna put a pull on you. And then I don't want you, I don't want you to do nothing yet. Just hold tight. Let's see. I don't. I won't be on the other side. Hey, Caleb.
tightly. It's already moving. Alright, slow down a little bit because I, like I say I got a full part line. Uh, hold up. Pulling down in the ground? Yeah, that's what I want. The more it pulls in the ground, uh, But it ain't gonna hurt that cylinder? Sitting shield on top. Anybody kicking that leg out like that? Oh, uh, no, no. Okay. That fire truck I towed the other day, I had a lot of bounce in this arm. We hooked it from the front. All right, Lee, come, come back just a little bit, slow. I want you to come back to you. I'm you already moving on your own. Hold up a second. Yeah, all right, come back a little bit. Slow. Yep, you're perfect right there. Yeah, what, what makes it so slow? I got four parts of line. It, it, it's, uh, I got to pull four feet of cable in to move you one foot. <laughs> so. Right. All right, come on back. Am I dragging you or are you moving? Alright, just slow. Hold on, you're moving on your own again. Straighten your wheel up a little bit, Lee. Right there, right there. That's good. Hey, you the pastor at that church over there on Zora Church now, or are you? Uh, Caleb, the guy with me, he goes to church over in Lugoff, and he was hunting something local to go to. Uh, that's what I told him, I said. Is your header up out the ground any yet, Lee? Okay. Straighten your wheels up a little bit more. Right there. You know what made this one? I know it took a while to rig up. But, uh... Yeah, that's one of daddy's old tricks. Oh yeah, Donnie back when, when we were farming, I remember Donnie drilled the ones off his six row picker. He had it stuck now. Hold on, you're crawling, I got slack in my cable, let me catch back up. 
I got to winch all the cables in, so we might as well drag you all the way back. I don't want to try you and you go back down. That speed right there, we we both together. And I'm keeping tight, and you're uh, you know just walking. Now the key to get getting this one out was you. You stopped it before it went to China. Right, Mr. Kirby. Now he he'll, he'll get them. I went with him one time, we pulled out a hundred thousand pound tracker. It took us two days, but we got it. it. Took a day to build a whole road to get in there to it. Aren't you moving on your own again? Hold up, let me catch back up. Oh yeah. I'd hate to know what he's got in that thing because I think Johnny Player went through that whole motor, transmission, everything for him when he built it. Hold on, I dropped my phone. My phone's been blowing up, I don't know. that much pressure on it usually we just hook a record to it and set the brakes I 
get all the cable lee out of them, what I do is I just unhook from the back of your machine which way you want to back out. cable now let me um unhook from your machine all right all right that's good let me um just cut my chains i'll pull them to the side and you come on back Put it that way, Lee, and come on back. Watch yourself, Caleb. Come on, Lee. cable got caught on my tanker bar <laughs> and when that happened it on my it pushed it into my shoulder where I wasn't expecting it. Separated at the shop, or you want to do it here? Let's do it here because I wasn't planning on going to the shop. I figured you would, that's why I wanted to ask. You this close to the house? Yeah. You'll give me everything you took off of Wilbur's truck, I'll put it back. Too. Okay. As y'all can see, I came prepared. I didn't know what we was up against. It's better to have enough than to need something else and have to uh, go back to something and get it. Hello? Yeah, what's up? No, not now. I got it out now. Yep, that's it. It's out there. No, I got Caleb and Mr. Lee and all his help, but there's just a lot of rigging we're picking up. Tell, tell John to relax. Tell him it's out. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, as soon as I leave from, as soon as I get all my stuff up, I'm going to head out there if they're still there. All right, appreciate it. All right.
We didn't even use my big uh, snatch block, sir. They're still hanging up there. I was just grabbing what was close. I tell you what, Mr. Howe, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna contact one of my guys that's still in the Marine Corps and uh -huh. see when the, see when my unit, my old unit, is possibly gonna be dermoing some old equipment. See if I can't get my hands on a couple of those snatch blocks. I feel like you would like them. They make these things look like cereal bowls. One more silver. Uh, this is what I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, my bad. Made it look easy, didn't it? Really? <laughs> George, you ain't walking right off. It just takes long, so long to rig. Yeah, I'm sure. Take long to rig, then it winch him out. Mm -hmm. And the good thing, Lee. Didn't sink it. That's, the, yeah. that's the key. Yeah. Yeah. That make a big deal. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull the track down out here. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. I hopefully we can get out. We might have to probably have to take a chain. Were y'all able to get that landing mat out? Or was it yeah, pushed down? Oh, y'all ain't got it on the truck? Yeah. Good deal, thank you. Aren't, aren't both the, uh, the scooters, Mr. 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 Wilton? No, one's yours and one's his. Oh, well, it hangs in the back, back here. On this oh, back here. Oh, That's a 15 ton versus 12. We got some big 25 and 30 tons for pulling armored stuff. Is that what you call it on Mega Ring? Yes, yeah, an oblong ring with a with a V bridle on it. What's the Omega? Then? Same thing. Okay. No, the Omega is um. Oh, is it the thing we I'm got sorry. hiding in the bay? bay yeah. Here? Them little things I told you we don't use a whole lot of. Okay. Okay. That's them major rings. <laughs>
in there. We might have to redo one day next week. But we got one. Things better than I can even credit for. What? I've Straight. never used those because I figured they're just going to break. Now, look right here. 42,000 in a basket. We just had it in a basket. Right. But you only. Um, now, do you divide that between the two D rings? So you only we got 21 on each side? Right. And you only got one, uh, two parts of line on this as far as the weight that we were pulling. Do the numbers ever get easier? I know you've been doing this close to 30 years. No. So. <laughs> you, it, it's, it's easy. It's, it's when, when do you uh, when do you start remembering more of the numbers and stop with the just grab the biggest stuff on the truck? On stuff like this, I always do numbers in my head just to once so we don't over work the equipment. I thought I laid it right there. You did. I tossed it over here because it, it was in the way of the door shut. <laughs> falling out and getting left behind. That's, that's about what I do most of the time. When I pull up and I gotta do a windshield or a pull or something, I just grab the biggest thing on the truck and if the biggest thing won't pull it, then I need help. Main thing, you just wanna stay within the working load limit of your, your gear. Usually, most of the time cable is your your weakest link see on this truck i think the hydraulic is the weakest link just because of that hydraulic shut off oh but i mean if you if you straight line it you got all that weight on one line but like we just done it cuts it in force right force you get a four to one mechanical advantage um do you have a d-ring in your truck because i got two of these off of wilbur i had two but now i've only got three uh, there's one on the back right rear of my pickup. There it is. I, I, I knew I grabbed two of each color off of Wilbur's truck, and if need be, I was just going to give him one of mine to make sure he still had his. Right. That wasn't good. What? Mr. Half. Good thing those are easily replaced. Yeah. If you find one in the backyard, I'll help you put it in. Oh, man. Well, the Crap. Stuff in the yeah. 
But we can go to a junkyard and find one, and I can help you put it in. They ain't hard. Yeah. Oh well. Glad it's the work truck. That's exactly right. At least we're putting the Nissan. Yeah. Did you really put a Nissan on the back of this all the way to Tennessee? Yep. How'd that happen? It wasn't bad. All right, where well, you want to put Wilbur snatches? So these are all three Wilbur. Yep. And that bin that's open with all his deer and then I'll throw them on his truck when I get there. Just anywhere they'll fit nicely. Okay, viewers. As you can see, it came out fairly easy. Uh, it's just that machine is so heavy. And, uh, I think the landing mat had a was a big help getting it uh, getting it up quick, and then uh, you know walking it. Once we got it up quick, then as you can see, I'm I'm knee deep in roots. Okay, viewers, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, share. If you like our content channel, please subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there. We'll catch you on the next one.